86. That's a 500 batting average. 33 RBI pulls this one left side off the glove of Miller. Throw from Moore is in time. A 5-6-3. The shortstop, Lexi Moore. There goes Stewart, who is one of the top base dealers in the country, and she slides in nice and easy. 32 hits, eight doubles, a triple, 29 RBI. This one back up the middle and through. A slow roller into center. Here comes Miller, the throw to the plate, not in time. Gillis got a late jump, and she is out at second trying to advance on the throw. She got a late jump there. Andrew Zeger. Back through the middle, in between the legs of the pitcher, and Stewart's aboard. Now, diving play from Sarah Miller in foul ground. On the slap attempt, Sarah Miller covering some ground. Green light for Taylor Gillis into center, trying to score from second is Miller. Oh, oh. They probably should not have cut that. That was a strong throw from DeMeo all the way to the plate, but stuck to her. And that is up the middle. Gillis will score, and Julia Thuer. The 3 2 change up pulled inside the third base bag. It's fair. One run rule score. Here comes Lexi Moore. And the throw is cut off. And that is the mercy rule. It's 8 nothing as Saucedo walks it off with a two-run double inside the left field line. Tristan Stewart, who went two for four with two runs scored and a couple of stolen bases in game one. First pitch swinging, and it's up the middle and through. Past the shortstop, who was drawn to the third base side of the hole for Tristan Stewart. Bunted the first base side, a good one by Lexi Moore. No play, stuffed, throws it behind Stewart, but she is there safe. Back-to-back -back first pitch hits for the Wildcats. Double, so sixth double. Takes this one up the middle and through. May score a run. Rounding third is Stewart. The play to the plate, not in time. And it's an RBI single for Sarah Miller. The 1-0. Pulled into the corner in right field. That will get to the fence and watch him run. One run will score. Miller from first will score. Gillis standing on third with a triple. A two-run triple, and Taylor Gillis is hot right now. She pulls the first pitch to the first baseman, stuffed, and Gillis comes home and scores on the RBI ground out. First pitch to Moore. She steps on second, throw it on the first in time. And there is the 6-4 double play. She said, I'll take it myself this time. And that is how the second inning ends. You're distracting them, Aaron. This one taken to center, and it will get down into right center, a base hit for Haley Downen. She bunts right in front of the pitcher, Lap. And Lap and a layman, a little miscommunication, not sure which one was going to go after it. I don't think it was going to matter anyway. Salcedo takes this one to the gap in left center, and it one hops the fence. One run will score. Here comes Sheehan, and it's a two-run double for Gabby Salcedo. She is getting hot at just the right time for the Wildcats. And it's already 6-0, Wildcats on top. Miller back up the middle just over the head of Lap and into center. And two more runs are going to score for the Wildcats. The 0 1. Freeland to the right side. It gets past Stuffton into right field. Here comes Sarah Miller. Play at the plate is cut off. And a run comes home, and moving up to second on the throw is Freeland. 
This one back up the middle. Cassidy Zolano, throw on the first is in time. A 6-3 double play, the second for the Wildcats here this afternoon. Is he here? The 3-1. Back up the middle, just missing lap and goes into center. It's a single for Delaney Sheehan. The one, two. Driven deep to left. And gone. It's a three run home run, Alexa Iceman. <laughs> the transfer from West Liberty walking it off against Georgian Court with the three run bomb. That's the way to do it. <laughs> 